Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. And today we're gonna talk about propositional functions and quantification. Hey, what have you done? You ruined my papers. Did you say propositional functions? Uh-huh. So in logic, propositional functions is a statement expressed in a form that would take on the value of true or false uh, were it not for the appearance within of a variable x which leaves the statement un undetermined as long as no definite values are specified for its variables. That's the meaning of propositional functions. Ah, I still don't get it. Oh wait, I'll give you an example. Imagine this. Hey, Ella. Ella, but come on, let's go in the car. There's a lot of fox there. Hurry up. Okay. Hey, what's on your face? Hmm, I bet our friend has a crush on Ella, am I right? Quite down, guys. Someone could hear you. Nah, <laughs> just admit it, bro. You've fallen for her. If I were you, go to her and confess now, so that you wouldn't feel lonely. Hey, Ella. I have something to tell you. What is it? I have a crush on you. Oh no, Ella! What are you doing? Look at him! Just reject him and go! I'm sorry, Ivan, I have to go. <clears throat> Hello, guys. In this portion, I am going to explain to you about propositional quantifications. When all variables in a propositional function are assigned values, the resulting statement has a true value. This is the other method to change propositional functions into propositions. Propositional quantification may be universal or existential. Universal quantification is the proposition x which is true for all values of x in the domain of the discourse. It can also be written in this notion or also read as for all x of proposition x or for every x of proposition x. This specifies the possible values of variable x. For example, all Ateneo de Davao students are smart. Let's denote x smart. Then, the given statement can be expressed as for all x of proposition x where the domain of the discourse consists of Ateneo de Davao students. Another example, let proposition x be 2 plus x is greater than x. For all x of proposition 2 plus x is greater than x, since x will be always smaller because of 2 in the proposition 2 plus x, therefore, this notion has the truth value of t, or simply as true. Another example, let proposition x be 2 is less than 5 minus x. For all x of proposition 2 is less than 5 minus x, if x is going to equal to 4, then 2 is going to be greater than 1, which is supposed to be variable is greater than 2. Therefore, this notion has a true value of f or simply as false. In existential quantification of proposition x is the proposition there exists an element x in the domain of the discourse such that proposition x is true. In this notion, it can be read as 
there is an x such that proposition x or for some x in proposition x. For example, some Ateneo de Davos students are beautiful. Let's denote x beautiful. Then the given statement can be expressed as for some x of proposition x where the domain of the discourse consists of Ateneo de Davos students. Where it means that not all of Ateneo de Davos students are beautiful, but there exists an Ateneo de Davos student who is beautiful. Another example. Let Px be 2 is less than 5 minus x. For some x in proposition 2 is less than 5 minus x, if x is equal to 2, then 2 is going to be less than than 3. Therefore, this notion has a truth value of d or simply as true. To simplify, these are the quantified statements and their negation. Remember, in universal quantification, you must find all possible values of the variable x. And in existential quantification, you must find the value that satisfies the proposition. That's it! Thank you for watching! And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. See ya!